Ollier's um, syndrome is a disease uh, where you get tumours in the bone which occur near the growth plates of the bone or along the shaft of the bone. And the, it's a congenital genetic condition that can affect every bone in the body or it can be isolated to um, one area, like just one hand or one leg or one foot. The problems with the bone tumours as they grow is that they can cause growth disturbance and the growth disturbance, like you can see here, where there is a tumour that's growing along the bone here, is has caused this bone to be very curved rather than straight. And you can also see there's been another tumour on the other side of the joint in the shoulder blade, this is a shoulder, where it has um, eroded the bone and destroyed the joint. So the result of this is that the joint is stiff and the bone is curved and abnormally shaped and it disturbs the growth of the bone so that this bone is shorter than other bones. So this is a problem with Ollier's, is that if the, if the tumour is within the shaft of a bone it can cause no problems at all, but if it's near a joint it can destroy the joint, leading to stiffness or pain, or it can cause disturbance of the growth so that the growth is bent or that the growth is shortened so it doesn't grow as much. In the situation as a, such as a shoulder where there is, it's quite a forgiving joint and then you get lots of movement from your shoulder blade that will accommodate for your joint stiffness, you often don't need to do anything about it. You try and manage the pain but you don't do anything to free up the shoulder because the shoulder blade as it moves on the chest can make up for the short falling shoulder movement. Likewise, a slightly shortened or a very shortened upper arm probably doesn't make a lot of difference in the way you use your arm, so nothing needs to be done about that. And, and same with a bent arm. However, in other circumstances, such as when it's on the, in the hand, let me just get another x-ray. So you can see here that Ollius has affected the left hand, but the right hand is not affected. There are no, this is a normal x-ray with no bone tumours, whereas here there are bone tumours on the left hand. The bone tumours are these dark shadows that you can see here or here because the bone tumours are made of cartilage. It's an abnormal form of cartilage um, which replaces the bone and it creates these little shadows, particularly when it involves the, the bottom part of the bone you get these strange streaks like this, said to, said to look like sledge marks in the snow. And that's characteristic of Ollier's. But in fact, these, these little lumps here, which you can see are cartilaginous growths that replace the bone. If the cartilaginous growths get close to or involve the joint, the joint becomes stiff. And so then it can be painful or it can prevent movement. You can see here, because the growth has been quite symmetrical, this finger has grown straight, which is normal, whereas here the growth has not been very symmetrical, particularly in this bone, and so this bone has a curve in it. At the moment this curve is not bad enough to do anything about, but if the curvature becomes more severe, 